Hey everyone and welcome back. So before we begin here today, please make sure you like and subscribe because it really does help out the channel. So we're gonna be working with this problem shown on screen. And this uh, problem, you have two forces of magnitude TA equals six kips and TC is equal to nine kips. And they are applied as shown to the welded connection. Knowing that the connection is in equilibrium, determine the magnitudes of the forces TB and TD. So before we actually do any numbers here, um, we did a previous video, which I believe is equilibrium problem number five, very similar to this problem. Um, this uh, problem number six here is just a little bit different because we have, uh, we're changing our unknowns and changing our values here. And with the previous problem, uh, we also looked at and talked about maybe thinking about which equilibrium equation you need to do first. And with this one, we're just going to go willy nilly into it just to show you that in the end, it doesn't really matter. You're still going to get the same answers. So with any equilibrium problem, it is beneficial, I would say, to start with a free body diagram. So I'm going to set up my X and Y coordinate system here. Hey, I'm getting much better with those straight lines. All right, so there's my X and Y. My origin point for my X and Y free body diagram is going to be this point over here on the picture where all those forces collide or where they're acting on. So <clears throat> let's go ahead and let's start applying our forces known and unknown. We have TA acting to the left only in the X direction, which is six kips of force. We have TC, which is acting vertically downward along the Y, and TC is nine kips as given. We have TB over here, which is along the X axis acting to the right, and that one's unknown. Don't know what that is yet. Task to find it, and we will. And then lastly, we have this TD force, which is acting up and to the left, and it is 40 degrees off of the X axis. So we need to find what TB is and what TD is. Now, after finishing your free body diagram with all your known and unknown forces and your angles or dimensions, which then in this case, we only have 40 degrees for TD. What we're gonna have to do to find TB and TD is some forces in the X equal to zero and some all the vertical forces in the Y to be zero. And typically with these types of problems, if you don't know what your next step is, just go straight to those equilibrium equations and start filling them in. And then you can notice or see hopefully um, how to solve it from there on with how many unknowns you have in each equation. Maybe you can solve for one of the variables directly with one of those equations and so on. So after the free body diagram, best next step would be to, well, use these equilibrium equations. And what I'm going to show you is that we're just going to go willy nilly into it. And we're not even going to think about which one would be best to use because using one over the other in this particular problem makes it a little bit faster. But in the end, it doesn't really matter if you can or can't see it. So let's go ahead and let some forces in the X direction first. We're gonna take every force that is acting to the right as a positive number, everything to the left as a negative number inside of this X equation. And they will all have to add up to be zero. They all have to cancel with each other. So starting with TA, it is a minus six. It is 100% in the X direction. And then we have TB, which is unknown. It is acting to the right, so it is positive no cosine or sine or any uh, variation for TB needed because it's 100% in the X. TC, well, we're not going to include that in the X equation because it's 100% vertical. It's 100% in the Y, no component in the X direction, so leave it out. And then with TD, well, TD is between the X and Y, and anytime you have a force or an unknown force in between the X and Y coordinate system here, you're going to have one in the X and one in the Y, a component of this force in the X and Y. Well, which way are those components going? They're currently unknown, but which way are they going? Well, TD is going up and to the left here. 
So my components must be going up and to the left. So they have to match this general direction of the resultant, which is up and to the left. So I need up and to the left. So we're looking at the X direction here. So this component in the X direction for TD will be going to the left. So it will be minus. So minus TD. And this component, well, we need to have cosine or sine of this angle. And it's actually going to be cosine of 40 degrees. Because cosine is associated with adjacent. And this degrees is adjacent to the X. It's coming off of the X. So anytime the angle is coming off of that direction, you use cosine with it. Sine will be used with the Y because the angle is opposite the Y. It's on the X. And sine is associated with being opposite. So what we have here is minus 6 plus TB minus TD cosine of 40. Uh, well, that's all that we have there equal to 0. Can we really solve for anything here? No, we can't solve because we have one equation and two unknowns. Ah, uh, crap. Well, we're stuck. What do we do? We give up, we go home, right? No, no. We can actually solve for this. So anytime this happens where you have two equations or two, excuse me, sorry, two unknowns with one equation, you don't just give up. What you do is you just go to your other one. So we use the X. Let's use the Y and see if we can solve for anything there. So we're going to take up as positive. That's supposed to be an up arrow, by the way, if you didn't know. <laughs> so we're take up as positive, Fy equal to zero. So all our forces in the Y direction, which is the vertical direction, have to cancel and be zero. So what do we have? Well, Ta, 100% in the X axis, don't include it in the Y direction. Same thing with Tb, 100% in the X, not including it in the Y. Hey, look, Tc, we can actually use it now. It's 100% in the y direction, and it's downward. So it'll be minus based upon my sign convention. And then I'm going to have TD. Well, TD's component is going upward because it's up and to the left. So that will be positive TD. And this time it's going to be sine of 40 degrees because the angle's off of the x. I'm looking in the y direction. So the y is opposite that angle, and sine is always opposite. And that's all I have in the y direction. Well, looking at the y equation, well, I can solve for TD. It's the only unknown in there. I can actually solve for something. So just rearrange, and we have TD is equal to 9 kips divided by the sine of 40. And that gives me exactly 14 kips in that upward left direction. So with TD known at 14 kips, don't forget, I've already done the X equation. Just take that 14 and plug it back in over here. And this X equation then becomes minus 6 kips plus the unknown of TB minus 14 kips cosine of 40 is equal to 0. Well, if we rearrange and solve for TB here, TB pops out to be 16. 0.72 kips to the right. And those are the two answers in which we were tasked to find. Now, this problem, unlike the first one, which is very similar to this, the problem number five of equilibrium, in this one, I am showing you that it does not matter if you start with the X or Y summation equations first. It's okay if you don't visually see which one to do first. Just go ahead and start writing them. If you come across this first issue, which we did, where we have one equation, with two unknown variables, we can't solve for either one just yet. So whenever that happens, just go and write the other one, which is the Y. And you might be able to solve for something. In this case, yeah, we did. We could solve for TD. Solve for it and then come back to the X, plug it in, and then we can find our other missing value. So I hope this was helpful for you. And if you want to see more problems solved of this variety, please check out other videos on our channel. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a fantastic day.